cam now. We got a real cam going on. Welcome to the face cam. Here's your chance to your dance on the face cam. All right. Yeah. Woo. What's up, everybody? This is GB Sydney Fan Motorsports here, and welcome back to freaking face cam. Yeah, I couldn't have said that any louder, but hey, I finally got a face cam. I. Um, I, well, actually, I can't believe it because I've had this camera here for a while now, but I just decided not to use it, uh, because I want you guys to be immersed in the world of Skyrim mods and everything, but, you know, I figured I could really add something to the videos if I use the face cam. So, boom, face cam. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is Moon Path to Elsewhere, uh, part three, hopefully of three, uh, but... In the last video, which was uploaded like two months ago, or three months ago, shit's been going on, you know, um, there's some stuff with my hard drive, some stuff with my memory, it's just all been a, t you know, a festival, but, you know, um, so yeah, this is basically what's been going, uh, what's, what well, went on in the last video, yes, there, thank you, brain, I finally have learned the English language, also gratuitous Minecraft poster, just in case you didn't notice. Um, but, anyway, so yeah, in the last episode, I believe we went and, uh, uh, talked to Mirivar of the Thalmor Incursion, you remember that big-ass burly Khajiit, and, uh, we took care of the Thalmor base using explosive arrows, um, which is always the most exciting way to do it. And now we have to go back to Merivar, the big-ass Khajiit. So, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get all that sorted out right now. Also, you'll notice the Killer Awesome Death Squad seems a lot more alive. They talk a lot more. And that's because I downloaded a mod that will be in the description that allows your, uh, that allows your... Uh, that allows your squad, your teammates, your friends to talk a lot more. So hopefully it'll seem like they're actually having some banter among themselves. That should be really, really interesting. So, so anyway. So, so yeah, there you, there you go. Right off the bat, Carjo says something. Now, where do we have to go again? Oh, it's right over there. Uh, yeah. So... We're just basically retreating our steps after, you know, all this, also, this big, uh, Inga brute. I don't know why I'm going back over here. Um, I guess it's just to make sure that, make absolutely sure that there's, uh, nothing I've left behind. I think I left some, may have left something in this chest, this captain's lockbox, but I'm kind of afraid of opening chests, which is, uh, little bit of a problem for the quest for the ground series, as you can imagine, because we need to save up 50,000 gold to buy the title of King of Riverhelm, and if we can't open chests, then, you know, that's a bit of a problem. So anyway, let's go ahead and save the game here. Well, then again, you know, why well, save the game? And... Yeah, there you go, they're alive! They're actually killing all some Death Squad, you know, living creatures. E. Whew! Okay. Whoa, hold on a second! 2,279 gold! I've got 3,579 gold right now. That is ridiculous. I'm going to give that to Carjo, and we're going to sell that shit once we get to, uh, once we get back to Whiterun, or, uh, Riverhelm, or wherever I decide to go, because, holy crap, 2,279 gold, that is a freakish amount. I know I'm carrying too much to be able to run, but it's worth it. It is really freaking worth it. Let, one second, though, let's give this to Creature, because I think she may have some extra inven inventory space. Uh, talk, no command, uh, trade, and, uh, ebony, air, ebony armor of, well, yeah, what was it, uh, it was, ebony armor of extreme destruction, 
uh, R. Give. Thank you. And now we are 2,279 gold richer once I get this stuff deposited. So yeah, that's definitely a major, major boom in our cause. So let's see what the other colossal this one does. Mainly, uh, cars are dog because he's a dog here Kaji. Right. I can barely hear him, uh, really, because of this headset, I guess, but, um, spacebar for the final time, left thumb, is not to open stuff. That's mass effect. Randomly. <clears throat> Yes, I have a Tallymancer, I have a Tally figurine in my room, because she's that awesome. I don't know why I showed you that, but... Just put you gingerly back there, yes. Yes, I am a Tallymancer. I swear she's the best freaking companion that's ever been in any video game. And, uh, as our, as our loading screens. Come on! Smoke! Yes, load! Load! We have loaded into the level. Awesome. Now we have to go and talk to Mayor of our Din friend. Our Din friend. Well, Din's friend, but. <laughs> e. Mayor of our Din friend. I've taken care of the Thalmor, you big fat creepy bastard. Show me those papers. Seems like this mission is more dangerous than the gold. Hmm? Yeah, definitely. Um, how so? What can we do? So, any word on the counter espionage? Fair enough. To uh, the hideout, I guess. Oh, hi. Here you go. Um, you're random. Okay, so. Let me see if I have the right of this. That crashed the game! Pressing J crashed the game. I can't possibly fathom why. Also, let me move my mic a little closer. But anyway, so... Yeah, thank you, Xfire. Uh, Xfire videos. 8 minutes and 11 seconds, and then it crashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Let's, uh, try that again. I'll see you guys on the other side. And we're back! Um, so yeah, I believe we still have to talk to Merivar. So I'm just gonna skip through that conversation for you guys, because I... I know you don't like, um, watching the same thing twice. Um, now how in the... Hey, did we get up there? I believe... Something along the lines. Oh, there we go. So, yes, Mirvar, Din friend, Din's friend. I've taken care of the Thelmer. Da 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 da. How so? Da 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 da. What can we do? Da 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 da. And come on. Da 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 da. I'm trying to make a song here. Brain, could you please make me a song? Okay, so uh, I guess we can save now. Uh, that, that would actually be quite nice, thank you. Also, 398 saves, not including the auto saves. Good lord, man. I've played this game a lot, I'd say. J just a little, just a, just a little. Um, almost as much as I've watched NASCAR and played Gran Turismo 6. Yeah, I've uh, played a little bit of it. 
398, about to be 399. Boom! And 399 or 402 saves we have, according to your, according to your count. What, what am I talking about? How many saves I have? I have no clue. I am almost in, as dense as uh, one of our dense friend over there. Also, why are, why are you guys not talking? Arjo, have you anything to say? I have so very many ways to deal with you. You have so very many somethings that, uh, uh something. Um, hi, Mud Crab, River Crab, whatever you call. Um, what is this? Oh, nothing, it's just the sky. See, that's how awesome this game is. I, j I get entranced by the sky. By the freaking sky. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. I'm going to check my journal. Pray to God that it works. Okay, that's one step. Quests. Yes! Talk to Kulan back at the hideout. Get involved with the counter espionage. Talk, talk to Marifar and da 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 da. Uh, yes, so talk to Kulan. I don't recall seeing this Kulan guy. Uh, so that'll be fairly interesting. Also, where's the hideout? Him. Please work! Please work! Oh, thank goodness. That's how heavily mined my game is, though. You see that? <laughs> um... I have to pray to God that the menus work whenever I open them. Uh, so where is the... Where's the... Pillar Falls? Tinmar Den? Custom Destination? What's under the custom destination, though? Um, I would... Why is my pointer dis... Oh. Oh, yeah, it does that. Pillar Falls. I believe... That where we're going is straight ahead. Ah! Dragon... Oh, come on! Fly back! Darn it! I want it! I want that dragonfly, man. Not cool. Not cool, game. Yeah, we've killed all this stuff here. Yeah, this is definitely the way. We're what the heck? What killed me? Did you hurt me after death? Death to you! I would. Let's see. Yes. Okay, everybody, retreat a little because I'm going to kill that thing that's still an enemy, even though I killed it. Yes. And explosions to you and, gr and gratuitous flight and everything. And yeah, and uh, that's the. Hold on, did that have collision? That has collision! Dude! That is freaky! Why does that have collision? What? Oh my god! That is freaky beyond belief. No other dead bodies in this game have collision. This one does! Whoa! For, for Skyrim, there's some paranormal shit going on here. Also, Kreeju's holding the, the thorax or whatever you call it up. The larynx, I, I don't know. But that does not happen! In Tamriel! In Tamriel! Shit, guys! You can walk through it! That is dead! You can't walk through it! What? Okay! It's solid! Uh, I can... I can... Well, I think I have an idea why. But... Uh... Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then... We are just going to move on from that uh, very odd happening elsewhere hideout. Okay, uh, that that was odd. Let me check the time, cause it's almost uh, breakfast time for me. Eleven twenty-seven. So I got three minutes to uh, get this done.
Uh, yeah, so, um... Well, just as I tried to think of interesting things to say to... Whoa, uh, okay. Were you, were you creeping on me? You were creeping on me. Were you creeping on me? Okay, so the game is saying that I have to go over here. I think I recognize this place. Okay, so our destination is up before that ship. Now we just have to find out a way to get there. Hold on, wait. Wait, 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 wait. They invade the fucking hideout. I, the shit just got real, dude. The girl, wherever you are. Shit just got real indeed. They are here, in my house. They have flown a ship into my house. This is freaky. Almost as freaky as that dead body, but fuck off with your ship. You heard me, you bastard. Fuck off with your ship. Okay, so, uh, you. Oh, hold on, wait. Yeah, this is a friendly ship, I guess, isn't it? I certainly can't see any regalia. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and assume it's friendly. Uh, Kreeju uh, was freaked out by something, apparently, because she was in a little combat pose thing. Maybe that's just because she's a spriggan. Duke is now a word. But maybe that's just because she's a spriggan and she can't walk any differently. Yeah, words for wisdom, thanks. Words of wisdom, words for wisdom, words of wisdom. That's the phrase. My brain is just on the fritz today. Um, so yeah, everyone go over here. And, um, I guess... Since it's just about time for me to go grab some noms, I will cut the video here and see you guys on the other side. And, uh, yeah. Noms successfully grabbed. Uh, Arjun needs to shut up, but yeah. Noms successfully grabbed. I do have a stomach. I don't know why I said that. But, um, yeah. So, let us... Continue. Also, you'll notice the lighting is a little bit different because the old red light was doing strange things with my eyebrows and it kind of made me look, made me look like ant venom. So, uh, that was odd because apparently then I'd be an amalgamation of two famous YouTubers, or two famous people, Nicolas Cage, the voice, and ant venom. Um, how do I put my weapon away? It's been that long. I don't know. I sincerely... I don't know how to put my weapon away. Is it, um, Q, E, uh, okay. Wait, do we have to talk to this guy first? Skullcat. Mirifar told me to look for Kulan. Do you, do you know where to find him? <laughs> what? That literally made no sense, Mr. Captain Cat Sparrow. Uh, no, not cheat console. Um, yeah, what the heck? There's just a weird shadow that went across my room. I have no idea. Paranormal activity. Right here! What the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, I, I had a just this weird shadow just went that way. Uh, must be must be something outside because that's my window there. So I guess it must have been. Um, controls. Okay. Um, she R R. Okay. There we go. And my bow is away. And we can go to the waiting move. Waiting moon. The captain's cab. That's a weird name for a ship. The waning moon. Well, the, the waning moon. I was about to say, uh, yeah, everything's slightly off kilter because this wall appears to be leaning. 
by now. It's just the shape of the ship. Are you Kuan? Yeah, you're Kuan. And, um, yeah, this, this is actually a really, really nice ship. You got a strong box here. A sapphire. Oh, 400 gold for something that weighs point one, one tenth of a pound. 400 gold. I hope, I hope this isn't stealing because this could really freaking help. Like, majorly, majorly help. Click and escape. Hi, I didn't just steal your sapphire. No, don't come over here. This Ah, oh, shit, I think he's on to me. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Okay, so, wait, I don't even have to drop the sapphire, do I? Exit. So, yeah, I can still run. Yes. Good. Serana, do you have anything to say? No? Uh, yes. Words of wisdom. Again. Kulan! You are Kulan? Ah, yes. Kulan welcomes you to the deck of the waiting moon. Your personal airship. What? I own this? I own an airship. Awesome! Okay, so uh, all the weird transportation I've got. I've got the, uh, what's it called? The ship from the, 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 Naza, the Naza Vinar. I've got this airship and I've have got a portal that leads to a house in an alternate dimension. Did, did I mention I have a, a thing for weird transportation methods? Yeah, I do. Because I've got access to freaking FTL. A ship that can do FTL in like the Middle Ages. I've got an airship, a freaking anti gravity freaking airship and I've got a portal to another dimension yes uh, Kulan you're Kulan yeah ah yes Kulan welcome sweet so really you're you're giving it to me I freaking own this now Kulan cannot give to you what is not his you shut it down from the sky above what? Uh, okay. Hold on. After we're done here, I think I'm gonna check my, uh, I think I'm gonna... What is Creed you doing? Yeah, I think I'm gonna check my shout list because I can't recall having a call freaking probably stupidly advanced airship um, that Kajit have made down from the sky shout. That would be the best shout in the history of ever. The second best actually, uh, besides what uh, besides what uh, I used to try to to teleport. Thank you, Brian. To teleport to the Nazifinar. So you're exaggerating. What about that just a car? New Elsewire spy is right in north of here. Close to the city of Doom. That damned elf is raiding our caravan supply posts. He must pay for his crimes. He must pay for his crimes! He must pay! Mustn't he pay, Tally? Yes, he must pay! <laughs> yeah, he must pay for his crimes! Ah, oh, darn. Tally fell over. He's drunk again. I don't know how figurines get drunk, but apparently, apparently they do. Um. This, this Corvette got drunk because he's on top of my desk and some CDs. I, okay. Right wherever you are. Huh. What can stop us now? Kulan navigates the ship through the sky above elsewhere. It is a smooth, uneventful, uneventful journey. Uneventful. You may want to uh, 
reconsider the spelling of uneventful. Also, add a common there. Eh, a common? Yes, add a common there. A add the rapper common. Um, and an, an apostrophe, as my brain probably would have pronounced it. An apostrophe. Yes. Travel to the caravan supply post near Dune. Okay, let me save here just in case something. We're not in Skyrim anymore, you damn wit. We're, we're in elsewhere. We're actually above elsewhere. Look, look out here, Karja. Come over here, look out here. You see that? That's elsewhere. Look at that window. That's elsewhere. We are above elsewhere. Shut up about Skyrim. Kulan. Okay, let me save here. I really need to learn how to quick save because that was just nearly a heart attack there. <laughs> Open up this menu. See? 400 saves. I am, um, randomly proud of that for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, 400 saves! 400 saves! Yeah, I got 400 saves in Skyrim. Do I get Achieve now? I hope I, I hope, I hope I get Achieve. Can I get Achieve, please, uh, Steam? Uh, if, if, Gabe Newell, if you're watching this, could you please give me Achieve? Because that would be just epic. 400 saves in Skyrim! Talk, Krulan. What's going on? Unleash the war cats. The Belmor are attacking the supply post. Those sons of bitches! Alright! What? No. War cats! Victorian intercept them. Yeah, no problem. Uh Four River Helm! And potatoes! And Tally! She's standing over here actually looking kind of down at, at something. Let me straighten you up there. You good? Uh, you're slightly wonky, but that works, I guess. Ah, uh, you are uh, skull cat, and uh, there's an Inca brute. Where do I get? What? I swear, I just talked a little like Chiana from Farscape there. Arthur, could you please shut up? Um, because this is. Oh, here we go, here we go. Sitcom is real. Shit's happening. River Helm! Boom! Die! You too, Frost thingy. Oh, that was the... That was about to be the luckiest shot in the world. Come on, die! Yes! Okay, four! Oh, the Imga Brute is like half health, even though I... Freaking detonated a C4 arrow in his chest? What? Okay, there we go. And then finally one more dude. Uh where, 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 where are you? Where are you? Come over here, downward. Uh you are smelting in the middle of the battle. Um, car joke. Sorry, whoops! Um now, there you are. Don't die. Whoa! Okay. And then, where are you? Where are you? Jelkir, Jelkir, talk to me. It seems your supply post was about to be raided. Luckily, we came in time. Yes. Yeah. But many supply posts have already fallen to just the Lineal. I'm sure that bastard had already left this area when he defeated his patrol. What is this place? Why is my voice gone strange all of a sudden? This is the deep desert, my friend. This is my caravan supply post. Supply post? Yes, caravans come here to stock up on water from the oasis. 
What oasis? This place looks freaking barren. I is the is the oasis over there? Oh. The oasis. It's hidden. It's through the castle in the cinema. I was right. It was over there. Sweet. So let's. Huh. Okay. Let's go. I wanna. You know the quest markers over there, obviously. But I wanna go explore this oasis place. Is this the oasis? Botanist oasis. That, that doesn't look too much like an oasis. It looks like rocks. You know, the rocks do not typically produce very much water. So anyway, quick save is... I don't know, F5? Yeah, quick saving! Awesome! Yeah. Yeah, see, they're talking amongst themselves. That's crazy. They're literally killing off some death squads. Oh my god. Dude. This is such a cool place. Holy cow on a stick. I don't know what you're saying, but keep pushing me. Oh, beat you. I thought you were just over there. What are you doing? Um Dude. Look at look at that. That that waterfall. I'm actually pointing toward the screen. Uh Wow. Dude. This is amazing. It's just look at this. Not as cool as the base thing. Uh, what, what's it called? Uh, the ten, the ten bar force. Not as cool as that, but holy crap! Also, elsewhere, yes, elsewhere. Carjo, salute the flag. Where are you? There you are, Carjo. Salute the flag of your nation. Are you not proud to be a Kaji? Not proud to be a cash. I I thought better of you, Car Joe. I really did. I, I thought better of you. Shut up. I'm the one talking here. I thought better of you. No, you don't back away. You didn't salute your flag. Yeah, look at me. Look at me. You don't look at me right this instant, sir. Salute your flag. Do it. I swear. I'll fucking do it. I got an arrow. Oh, I can do it. No, I, I can't. I I can't. I can't bring myself to do to do it. I mean, you just did the cutest teleport ever. I can't. I couldn't bring myself to do it, even if I wanted to. He's my first companion. I couldn't do it. I just I couldn't do it. But yeah, Carjo, I'm still disappointed. Don't salute that flag again. Next time we see one, I really won't do anything. Oh, hi, Creature. Uh, okay. Anyway, Killer Awesome Death Killer Killer Awesome. That's a word. Killer Awesome Death Squad. Onwards. Okay, so after that episode, Scarjo, there he is. After that episode, um, yeah, they, things happened. And I've never been up here before. And the three or four times I've played this mod, I've never been to this particular part of the map. Well, we've got. Uh, Oh! Dude, that was the luckiest ah. freaking shot in the world. Unfortunately, these hyenas are gonna be bastards. No, die! 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 Die!
Where am I? Dude, that was perfectly on beat too. Da 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 Oh, what are you guys doing? You're hyenas! You're a different species! Therefore, you're going to die! Die! Yes! Come flying towards me, my beautiful children! You too! Hey! Don't die, please! Thank you! Wow! That just, like, bent the spine in half! Yes! I can rocket jump! With my bow! and kill you in the process. I am Superman. Respect me, Super Argonian! Um, anyway, jump up here. Yep, that'll, that'll just about do. And uh, get back up here. Sprint. Am I, am I? Ah, something's really burning in my eyes. How do I freaking sprint? I'll just leave the rest of the cats to do that while I go investigate this plot point over here. Conveniently place plot. Oh, that's a that's a sink anchor. And it's just a giant freaking chars. Okay, I I can deal with that. You know, I can totally work with that. Let's just have you dead. Whoa! That thing must weigh like 400 pounds. And it just went flying like a kite. That was exciting. Okay, and go and die in the face! You didn't die in the face, did you? I think you did. There's uh, also a Thalmor wizard, and uh, he's going to die. Whoa! Every time I see that, I just go, dude, that's some air time. No, Inga Brute, you must die. Dang, man! This guy is freaking, he's a Toyota Hilux or something. This is, he's seriously freaking made by Toyota. That's the top gear reference. Okay, so, anyway. I'd open up, I'd open you up, but I really can't. And this chores is probably going to block the path. So we're just going to go up this ladder and then whoop, and then over, like that. Are you serious? Are you serious, game? Yeah, and the people a seriously came from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil. Distant? We're here. How is this distant, Garjo? You are in Elsewhere. Respect it, still love you, bro. Here, high five, man. High five. Now I gotta put my bow on you first. There we go. High five. Yep. Anyway, so, but yeah, next time, remember where you are! Okay, so. Surely you have something better to do. Yeah. That's, I admit, that's... the dragons are a concern, but we can avoid them if we do not stay in one place for too long. They literally, that was a legitimate response from Carjo. I would rather be back home in elsewhere, but I have little choice. You are in elsewhere, son. But seriously, that was actually, as far as the game goes, that was a legitimate response. Well, I know when one should speak, and when one should. Or maybe she's talking to Kongja. I don't know, but... The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. See, they're talking! They're literally... What the fuck? They're actually holding a conversation! That's awesome! That is awesome! Very rough conversation, but conversation nonetheless. I swear, that is amazing. That mod is going to be in the description, by the way. Just to remind you, 
the mod that makes them do that, it's going to be in the description. It's awesome, as you can hear. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Yes! Just a longboat. The quest item weighs a pound. Take it. Ebony Gauntlets of Extreme Sure Grip, 1,374 gold. God damn, man. And Ebony Boots of Imminent Stick. You know what? We're going to give all the we're gonna give all this stuff to Carjo in the next part after I take it. So, yep, yeah, here we go. And uh, walk slowly over to you here. Come in. I just noticed where's Saran? I wonder. Um trade, so we have some ebony stuff here. Um Ebony. Ebony, ebony. Ebony, Ebony Boots of Imminent Stamina and Gauntlets of Extreme Sure Grip. There we go, so <clears throat> we are now almost below the weight limit. Let me see, I could give away that belted tunic. We still uh, below the weight limit? No, no, we can move freely. So yeah, that has been part three of Moon Path to Elsewhere. Um, yeah, uh, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you really like it, favorite it, and if you want to see more, go subscribe. I have been GP, you have been awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. GP75, out!